I'm gonna learn some answers from Stone Cold. JR's gonna need to get me some answers from his boy. I was fucking shocked. He turned heel. Cause Stone Cold was a face. Hey, these are my degenerates. Hey, right, it's Billy is Billy Goatberg. Alright, fine. I hope you're ready for a chair shot symphony. Because I'm not in a goddamn mood. Not after what Stone Cold did. DTA, don't trust anybody, including Stone Cold Steve Austin. Damn it, Bill. Damn it, Bill. I'm the one supposed to be laying out my frustrations here. Damn it, I don't. I'm only doing this because I want to earn the superstar points. Like, I want to be right up there with uh, Brock. And now let's add a little bit more insult to injury to Bill Goldberg here. <laughs> and beat him with his own jack and um, beat him with his own uh jackhammer. What's going on with his head? Three. You know if this was a, if this was really like Goldberg, he'd start with two finishes for this just for the spear and the jack knight jackhammer. You were given credit. Now I'm gonna go beat some fucking answers out of Stone Cold. Oh, Rob's losing this. Oh my god, Rob beat. See, this is how far Triple H has fallen. He's jobbing to Triple H. He's jobbing to Rob Van Dam, sorry. Every time I hear that glass shatter, all I can think of is that WrestleMania 17 entrance. Ah! Uh, from Victoria, Texas, weighing 248 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin! I think he was 248. Ah, uh, so Seriously, screw you, Stone Cold, for t for, t for joining the joining McMahon again. It is it is WrestleMania 17 all over again. God damn it! 
We've not seen a stone cold entrance, so I gotta run it. Ah, oh, god damn. Beat the piss out of Steve Austin for this. Tag your boy in. Tag your boy in just so I can beat that hell out of him. I said, tag your boy in. I'm going to keep putting you down and into that corner until you tag him in. I don't want to waste much energy on Kane. I want Stone Cold and I want him now. This is turning into a right blood feud. Now I get the goddamn rattlesnake. Like, no, nah, we weren't friends. But I figured he wouldn't be going after fuck. He wouldn't be s kissing Vince McMahon's ass. Then again, I guess it's I guess it shouldn't be surprising. A rattlesnake does shed its skin. God. Don't even try it, Steve. No, you don't. You do not pull up. You do not get a stunner off on me. I knew exactly what the AI would have gotten for then. Oh, you fucking coward. You fucking coward. I'll get my hands on Stone Cold, yeah. Now we find out who's jumping shit from SmackDown to join us on Raw. It's going to be a jobber. That's the worst part. It's going to be a jobber. That's a good question. Where are they? Oh, it's Eddie. Former WWE champion, Eddie Guerrero. 
fucking Latino heat. Unfortunately, this is pre uh, world title Eddie Guerrero, so they don't have him having good stats in like 90s. So, unfortunately, as much as I love Eddie Guerrero, I really do. He is effectively jobber status right now. By the way, did not get jumped for the Rebellion pay-per-view. Huh. Which means I'm probably going to have a hardcore match. Oh, no, okay. Ooh, now it's an interesting one. Big Show is your United States champion. True to life, actually. He did use, he did hold the United States title once. It's a six-man tag. He's a, he's a six-man tag and a half. Hey, look, it's, uh, it's Steve's favorite boy. Like the 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 Steve from Steve from OSW review, big Mattitude guy, big Mattitude guy. Ah, oh, damn it! Why, Steve? Tell me why? I just got Jr. screaming in my ear for Steve Austin to tell him why. God damn it. Go to hell. Bullshit, Kane isn't that athletic. Like the big, he is, he is athletic as hell. Do not get me wrong, but Kane is not that athletic. Oh, by the way, it's actually... God damn, it's actually really... You know what this is? This is actually really in tune. We're called the, the Power Trip. But across from the ring, we have... We have the members of the two-man Power Trip. Triple H and Steve Austin. How fucking... How fortuitous. And ironic. It's a nice looking German there. Which I don't think has any ever been said to an actual German before. Ah oh, damn, I'm fucking Kane. Oh, what the hell? Oh yeah, one move, he did that to me. Nope! Fuck you, Kane! There we go. Taunt him because uh, it's only me that's going to show up in this. Yeah, this was before they actually programmed winning screens for triple pe for free people. It's 
like I, I won all by myself. So yeah, the, the corporation has lost legitimately all but one of their matches, and that one was predetermined that Jazz would win. Like, since then, they've literally lost every goddamn match. Again, we're the most dominant team, but we're being portrayed as jobbers. Speaking of which, sorry, Eddie. Well, he says that, and yet I'm going to be saving his ass, and he's going to be joining. Holy shit, Jazz won a match, and it isn't even for her team. Also, this is the first time me and the creepy little bastard are going to be facing off since the uh, faction warfare began. You poor dumb son of a bitch. I swear to god, I think all this ends all this culminates in an elimination chamber. Christian, you do realize you are literally the lamb to slaughter right now. You are going to get Fucking mauled. I am going to destroy you. You have. God, I really wish I could remember Steiner's math because you've got about that much of a fucking chance. The oh, little fucker's really goddamn rapid. Yeah, fuckers reversing, goddamn everything. I'm going to break his back and make him humble. You know, it's funny you can turn around and say that, you know, every faction has a fall guy. And in any other situation, that would be Christian. But literally everybody in the fa in their faction is a fall guy. Anyway, when you look at it graphically, their shoulders are never on the map. Yeah, I better be able to attack him. Like, he should not be able to fight back. He shouldn't be able to, but it wouldn't surprise me if the game tries to fuck me. <laughs> Why? I'm so glad they did this. Yeah, when Christian loses a match, he just whines and bitches on the map. He's giving me the thumbs up! <laughs> Earl, you are not stopping that. You are not stopping that at all. No, that damn shame, you... Damn shame you cannot um, check if you're still heal or face, but I'm pretty sure I'm still face. Oh, Steve, your ass is mine.
Oh, I found myself some Latino heat. Oh, by the way, they finally won a match. Like, they, they finally won a match against the person who wasn't even a member of my faction. Go figure. And no, that loss does not count because it didn't, he didn't... That, that loss does not count because he joined after he lost. Doesn't count. Seriously, is he out of contention for the hardcore title yet? Also, why isn't dude fucking women's titles being shown the show being shown the same respect it got shown in real life? Never fucking defended. Hey, Triple H is out of contention. Steve Austin is the only one closest enough in their faction. Holy shit, number of people actually held this. Dudley Boys, Kevin Nash, Booker T, Goldust, HBK, Suplex Saints. Alright, sorry, I was just really curious. You better be the creepy little bastard. Thank you, Rob. Now I get a chance to get my hands on fucking Stone Cold again. Traitor, son of a bitch. Oh yeah, now we get to hear Eddie Guerrero's intro. Which uses Los Guerreros. Yeah, because it wouldn't be till later that he got the single version of it. Which is, I lie, I cheat, I steal. Love Eddie. I, I miss him so much. He He's one of those celebrities, if you, say, if you want to say, in the world that passed away that to this day I still miss. Like, he's, he's one of those few people who passed away that, like, I'm... To this day, I still can't believe they're gone. Like, Eddie, Eddie was part of my childhood, man. Like, him and Paul Gray are two of the people that, I, to this day, I still can't believe they're gone. And hell, even, even Joey Jorgensen at this point, like, I'm, I can't believe it. Again. I fucking hate how much damage he does. Like, I legitimately hate how much damage he's doing. And how little I'm doing. And I have a 9.5 in damage. It's, it's infuriating. Damn it, can. Ow. 
And I'm fucking red. I'm orange now. And now I gotta fight Stone Cold. Thank you, Eddie. Oh, no, you don't, Steve. Your attention better be on me. I still owe you an ass whooping. And for that stunner, I owe you too. God damn it. But yeah, we're getting close to the we're getting close to the end of the faction chapter. And like I said, the I, I believe the ending of this is Elimination Chamber. I think it's me versus the other members of the of their faction. Like honestly, it's kind of bullshit. We get screwed so hard. Because I think later on in the world title match, it's replacing it's you versus everybody for the world title. Hey, Steve, do me a favor. Don't return to sender. There we go. I pinned the rattlesnake. I have my revenge. I have my revenge. Would we'll turn around and say I'm happy, but that'd be a lie. Because at the end of the day, I know where all roads lead. Why are you about to get jumped? Oh no, here we go. Oh yeah, he does. God damn it. And it was an amazing match at the time. I've seen one ages though. Oh yeah. Now here's something interesting. The games did something really interesting with Elimination Chamber that was never done um, in real WWE um, until they brought back War Games because it was a Elimination Chamber version of War Games. So it would be two teams of three, two start and two others in pods and they randomly get uh, entered into the chamber the thing like i said it was the elimination chamber version of um war games but they never did it in the fed they never did it and it, it baffles my mind they never did because the concept is pretty fucking cool like i said it's effectively war games and uh with uh, elimina uh, eh, with an elimination chamber once again they just never did it what up? Uh... 
Thanks, Eddie. Don't I fucking know I'm gonna need it. Damn it! Jazz beat Trish. Darn it. Oh well. Hey, what up, Ray Ray? So yeah, Elimination Chamber. I'm gonna need to mentally prepare myself for that one. A two on one handicap match. Oh, he's good practice, but he, he's got nothing on what the chamber's gonna be doing with him. Because the problem is, I'm gonna be going in alone, yes, but I'm going to be going in at number one. One or two, give or take. Pretty sure you get the idea of what I'm in for. Go to hell, Kane. I have slightly higher endurance now, Kane. Though I still feel like you're going to take you're gonna rip me apart in some regards. And again, it kind of all makes it even worse when you realize. Oh, I'm going in there with Stone Cold Steve Austin, with Triple H, with Kane, and with Christian. Like, it all comes down to who is starting that match with me. Because either way, it's going to kind of suck. Damn it, Kane. Dude, boys, I got this. I got this. I need to get in the practice, considering what I'm going to be going through. Thank God there's nothing like fatigue or, fatigue or anything, otherwise I'd be screwed. Yeah, it's supposed to be a tag team match, but everybody else is just here for moral support. Like, that's all they're here for is moral support. And in case I severely mess up. Screw you! Like that. What the fuck? <gasps> yeah, that ain't ever gonna happen. Then again, I have I have seen I have seen Brock pull off a shooting star press. Seriously, that's probably the one of the most impressive goddamn things I've ever seen. Thank you, Brock. Alright, see, that's what happens when I majorly screw up. So, thank you, Brock. Oh, is it time for Milkomania? Yes, it's Milkomania! Where did Christian come from? Oh, funny enough, this is not the first time this has happened to Stone Cold either. Ah, oh, god damn it. Kurt spraying the alliance. 
and the millionaire princess has just become the Dairy Queen. Fucking carts. I love that. Oh, Kurt Angle dousing every, all the members of the Alliance with milk. Oh my god. Oh god. Alright, give me a minute. I'm gonna- I'm gonna mentally fucking prepare myself. Give me a couple- give me a- give me a moment. Well, well you guys- he's gonna be a smash cup for you guys. Oh god, yeah, just give me- give me a couple of seconds. Holy shit, I need a smoke. This is gonna be rough. Batteries just died. Let us begin. I did save, right? I fucking hope I did. New York City, New York. Fucking looking like he's gonna hit me with a stone cold stunner. You know, if they wanted to extend this, they could have had one of my one of my teammates um, betray me. None of my boys gonna be giving me a pep talk. Oh my god, give it up, Val and Ultimo. Seriously, where the fuck did Sheik come from? Where the ever loving. Where the ever-loving fuck did Shiki Baby come from? Seriously? Is he gonna try and break my back and make me a humble? Fuck it, maybe actually. I kind of got to put Cheeky out early.
Oh, fuck me. Well, now it's going to get rough. Who's it going to be first? No matter who it is, it's going to be bad. It's fucking Kane first. Now, I could chill on the outside and let them all fight each other, but... You know what? That works for me. Get one out of the ring. Damn it. And Triple H just fucking killed himself. Well, to be fair, RVD nearly killed Triple H in the first ever elimination chamber. So, you know. Hey, listen, they want to beat this shit out of each other. I'm perfectly kosher with that. Oh no, you don't care. Hate when they do that, they just fucking immediately target onto me. Damn it, like that. You can't react fast enough.
Yep, which is sometimes why discretion is the better form of valor. Oh, screw you, Triple H. There we go. Gotta hope that he does not. Damn it. At least Steve Austin is taking it to Kane right now. No, don't. Go after Kane. I should be Kane done actually. It's me and Stone Cold. I need to play this. Not necessarily safe, but... I need to make sure I don't make any mistakes because I am so close to done right now. In both the game, in both the match and my health. Steve is just taking no damage though. Oh, fuck me. This man is just numbed up on beers. Beat him with a stunner. And if that doesn't do it, I got another stunner ready. 
Oh my god, I did it. I eliminated all but one person. I beat the elimination chamber. Holy god. And I didn't use scrub tactics or anything like that. Holy shit, I beat it clean. No, there wasn't, and that was their fault. Yes, I proved I'm better than everybody. I mean, I wouldn't necessarily turn around and say that entirely. I mean, I am. I, uh, we are. I do. Oh, hello. No thanks. Again, I want to go for the Royal Rumble. The Royal Rumble is where I really want I want to win the Royal Rumble and go on to WrestleMania. That's how I want to do that. If I've got nothing to do this week, I'll go for the IC title. I'll, I'll challenge Rob for the IC title.